Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? From what we have here, this follows when we have x minus 1 plus 2. So, this is the same thing as x plus 1. So, we can replace x plus 1 as x minus 1 plus 2 here. And what we have become is 4 raised to the power x minus 1 plus 2, then minus. 4 is to power x minus 1, then equals to 100 on this side. Then, from what we have here, follow the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is, we can treat m as x minus 1, then n as 2. That is, we have 4 is to power x minus 1 times 4 is to power 2. Then minus 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 100 from here. The next step, we have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 common. We can factor that out and we have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 into brackets. Here we have 4 square left. Then minus 1 left here, close bracket, equals to 100 on this side. Which implies... Here we have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 into bracket 4 squared that's 16 then minus 1 plus bracket equals to 100 here. That is here we have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 times 16 minus 1 that's 15 equals to 100 on this side. The next step we divide both side by 15. That is, divide this side by 15. Also, divide this side by 15. Here, 15 cancelled each other. And we have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 left, which is equal to 100 over 15 here. That is, from what we have here, we can write this as 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 5 times 20. And also here we have 5 times 3, which implies here 5 cancel each other. And what we have becomes 4 is to power x minus 1 equals to 20 over 3 from here. That is, here we take the log on both sides, which are we have log 4 raised to power x minus 1 equals to log 20 over 3 here. That is, we apply the power of logarithm here. When we have log m raised to power p, this is the same thing as p log m. And the power here is x minus 1. So what we have becomes x minus 1 times log 4 now equals to log 20 over 3 here. Then next step here, we divide both sides by log 4. Divide this side by log 4. Also divide this side by log 4. That is, log 4 comes with other here. We have x minus 1 left, which is equal to log 20 over 3, then over log 4. Then following the log logarithm. From here, when we have log a over b, which can be written as log a minus log b, then what we have now becomes x minus 1 equals to log 20 minus log 3 over log 4. That is here, yeah. we separate this into two fractions and we have x minus 1 equals to log 20 over log 4 plus, sorry, minus log 3 over log 4. Then, from what we have here, we can separate 20 as 4 times 5 here. Then it implies 
here we have x minus 1 equals to log 4 times 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4 then this also follows on log log when well, we have log a times b this we can write it as log a plus log b then it implies what we have here becomes x minus 1 equals to log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 then minus log 3 over log 4 the next step here we separate this into two fractions and we have x minus 1 equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4 that is log 4 cancel each other here we have one left then x minus 1 it goes to 1 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4 then what's up on x here we can take minus 1 to this side we can plus that is x now equals to 1 plus 1 that equals 2 then plus log 5 over log 4 and we can express 4 as 2 squared then minus also here we have log 3 also over log 4 which can be written as log 2 squared and also here when we apply the power of log 2 comes here then also here and what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 minus also here log 3 over 2 log 2 that is we can as well write this as x equals to 2 plus half log 5 over log 2 then minus here also half log 3 over log 2 then also when we apply the change of this from when we have log a over log b that we can write as log a to this b then what we have then becomes x equals to 2 plus half log 5 is 2 minus half log 3 base 2 so here we have the value of x in this given problem so x equals to 2 plus half log 5 is 2 minus half log 3 base 2 now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 2 plus half log 5 is 2 minus half log 3 base 2 yeah then what we have becomes 4 raised to power 2 plus half log 5 is 2 minus half log 3 is 2 then we have plus 1 here then minus also we have 4 raised to power 2 plus half log 5 is 2 minus half log 3 is 2 then we have minus 1 up there is it equals to 100 on this side then from here 
can bring 2 plus 1 together, that's 3. So we have 4 raised to the power 3 plus half log 5 is 2 minus half log 3 is 2 then minus also 4 raised to the power. Here we have 2 minus 1, that's 1. So 4 raised to the power 1 plus half log 5 is 2 minus half log 3 base 2 this is equals to 100 on this side that is when we follow the law of indices a raised to power n plus n same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n and also a raised to power n minus n same thing as a raised to power n over a raised to power n which implies here yeah, we have 4 raised to power 3 times 4 raised to power half log 5 is 2 then over 4 raised to power half log 3 is 2 minus also here yeah, we have 4 raised to power 1 times 4 raised to power half log 5 is 2 then over also 4 raised to power half log 3 with 2 is it equals to 100 on this side then 4 is to power 3 means 4 multiply itself 3 times and that's 64 then times here we can rewrite 4 here as 2 squared which is raised to power half log 5 with 2 then also divide by here we have 2 raised to power half log 3 raised to power 2 that's 4 2 squared then raised to power half log 3 base 2 minus here we have 4 raised to power 1 is still 4 then times also we have 4 as 2 squared which is raised to power half log 5 base 2 then divide by also 2 squared which is raised to power half log 3 base 2 is it equals to 100 on this side then here this power multiplies 2 here comes each other and we have 64 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 then over also 2 cancel each other here we have 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 minus here we have four times also here this power comes each other we have two raised to power log five base two then over also here this cancel out we have two raised to power log three base two is it equals to hundred on this side then here when we apply the law of log region when we have a raised to power log b to base a this is equals to b that is here is 5 so 64 times 5 over here we have 3 now minus here we have 4 times 5 over also 3 is it equals to 100 on this side that is 64 times 5 gives us 320 over 3 minus 4 times 5 that's 20 over 3 is it equals to 100 on this side and we can bring these fractions together as one. Well. Here SM is 3. And 320 minus 20, that's 300. Is it equals to 100 on this side? And of course, 300 over 3 gives us 100, which is equals to 100 from here. Now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. Next here, we conclude that x equals to. 2 plus half log 5 is 2 minus half log 3 is 2 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.